family. It's your man Nine Mill, and I'm back with another vlog. Back in San Diego area, y'all. I just pushed it all the way through last night, man. 19 hours straight, bro. I stopped and got got some food one time and just sat sat in my car and ate it and chilled. But then um, after that, every other stop was gas up, food, and keep it pushing. I was eating while I was driving. A few gas stops, I used the bathroom while I was gassing up. You know what I mean? Like, I was really efficient. Got back. Originally, my the clock said I'll be back around 1, a little after 1 o'clock a.m. in the morning if I drove straight through. <clears throat> and I ended up getting here a little bit before 12.30 last night. So, yeah, man, your boy tired, but I did it. Made it happen. It's now 11.23 the next day, Pacific time. So, I, uh... I hollered at the owner of the car. She's home, she's home and ready to receive the car. So that's what I'm getting ready to go do now, player. Then go on and see what, see what the rest of the day be like. Probably nothing, man, because the boy is tired. I ain't going to lie. Probably just chill at the crib, man, try to get some sleep. But, uh, that's it. That's all for now, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the journey. I'll be back when I get there on location. Peace. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. First thing is gas. It's astronomical out here in Cali, y'all. Look at that. 449. That's like a dollar fifty more than the cheapest I've seen it. Dollar forty more, a dollar forty more than the cheapest the cheapest I paid on this trip. I think that was probably. I can't even tell you where, man. All, this, all those days run together now. Um, yeah, gas prices, but this weather though, ooh wee baby, it's seventy three degrees, y'all. Yes, sir. What's today's date? January twelfth or something like that. Let me see. January 14th, Friday the 14th, 73 degrees. That's why I live here, real tall. I'm driving through middle America. That's why I don't live there, you know, it's real tall. <laughs> Nothing going on up there, baby. Depressing, man, I ain't bring no mask. I pay at the pump this time. All right, y'all. I'm uh, about a half mile away from drop off. I'm gonna fill it up for. And uh, cause I showed didn't clean it. She can handle all the the remnants from the police search. <laughs> Hell, I like it just how they had it, man. I ain't go through they stuff. I threw some more clothes. They had a bunch of clothes up here. I threw them all the way in the back. Other than that, it's just how they had it, man. You just ain't got nothing in that fell over here, nothing. Oh, oh, that's my wallet, all the paperwork and stuff. That's up. Uh, I'll be hollering. I'll be back. to another dollar well I take that back no I ain't getting to no dollars no dollars today just still getting the crib together putting some stuff in storage that I don't really want in the house right now so some of my pops my money maker box another money maker box yeah buddy Y'all don't know, man. If y'all kind of new to the channel, you you didn't know that you haven't seen me um, 
notice any of these Funko Pops, but your boy is into those. Not super into them, but I know it's a good investment, man. I want to say you can get Pops with like 200, 300, 400% return on your investment. So, yeah. Needless to say, I do invest in those. I haven't, I haven't flipped any as of yet, but I will. I'm just more of a collecting right now. I got the Funko app, so I, uh, excuse me. I have the Funko app, so I only purchase pops that are, that are at least giving me um, a 40% 40, 40 return. 50% return, 100% return. I definitely have some over 100% returns, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that's what it is. I'm getting the day going. It's the sister in law's birthday today, so me and the baby gonna be chilling while the old lady goes out and chills with the sister. Hey, that's all I know. What you doing? That's all I know. What you doing? What's going on? You put your shoes on, you gotta put them on the right feet though. Messing up, yeah, put them on the other foot. Put it on this foot, and this one on this foot. Go. Alright, I'll be back, check on you later, okay? I appreciate that, for real. Okay? Alright. <laughs> so, yeah, man, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Hit that like button and subscribe button. Uh, I'll be back later. I'm gonna go to the storage in a little bit. First thing. Just dropped all the pops off. Most of them were already in the storage, but the ones I had with me, I just dropped those off. And I grabbed my herb, my herb box, for lack of another term. So I got um. If y'all don't know, I'm a holistic health practitioner as well as massage therapist and um. Junkie mover, mixed martial arts fighter, mixed martial arts instructor. All those type of things. <laughs> but what I got in this box is, like I said, a bunch of herbs, fresh and dry herbs for um for healing purposes, y'all. I got it, man. I started taking classes on it even after my even after my initial schooling. I started taking classes to get more in the know of how to use herbs, how to make our own tinctures, and you know use herbs as medicine. Kind of had it on pause man because the apartment that we were in before was so small man it was stupid small and it didn't allow me to be able to have enough space to pull anything out man all the jars and the herbs itself it's like i had no motivation to pull it out man it's like you pull anything out the closet or out of storage it's already overcrowded Now that we at this new crib, man, I have a lot more space to deal with. I feel more comfortable getting back involved with this stuff. So that's why I just pulled it out of storage right now. So I have it with me. And uh, now I got to find my notebook, my notes and stuff so I can get back to practicing. And uh, getting good at this stuff, man. And knowing what herbs are used for what different ailments and shit. I got a little bit of know-how, got some tinctures ready to go, but I, I haven't even bottled that up. All I gotta do is bottle it up, put some labels on it, it's ready to go. And it's set for like six months, I wanna say. Six to eight months, I wanna say, I, I brewed this. So, definitely got some stuff ready to go, man, but I've been out of practice, so I wanna get back in the mix of things. Then advertise my services, y'all. Advertise my services and my products and stuff. Headaches, sore muscles, uh, high blood pressure, all that type of stuff, man. I wanna wanna 
to show y'all, you know, some different things that y'all can do at the crib for it. On top of the herbs, it'll be, you know I mean, how to yeah, sore back, sore shoulders, and knees, ankles, and whatnot. You know I mean, I'll show y'all some different stretches and different body care techniques that y'all can do to, to help yourself out with that, too. So, anyway, I said all that to say, go to Body Mind by Nine um, on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so when I drop videos, you'll be in the know, man. Y'all y'all will know right away. I have since the beginning of the year. I have been getting a little bit more active with it. Not super active, not daily, but I'm trying to get out a, a video a week at least, if not two. I got my Technique Tuesdays and Wellness Wednesdays for the most part. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all. On my way back to the crib now, I'll go parlay with the baby clean up around the crib um yeah that's it that's all it's gonna be me and the baby today so any money making that i can pull in will be online if at all i'm really not focused on it man i, I figured i'd get back to the to the drawing board on monday that was a long ass trip man i took another day to rest after i got back so now i'm back in the mix y'all Already got a job lined up. Two jobs. One or two. I have to look and see what's confirmed. But at least one job lined up for later on this week. Uh, I want to say that's Wednesday. I may have something for tomorrow too, but I don't know if it's confirmed yet. I'll check when I get back home. Uh, all off my own reconnaissance. There ain't no dolly or nothing. It's um, some leads that I pulled through. You know, just talking to people. Um, one of them was like that. The other one was a Yelp lead. If y'all don't know, I like the Yelp leads because a lot of people use Yelp, y'all. A lot of people go on there to, to leave reviews for businesses or, in this case, to look for businesses to help them out with services they need. So people go on, on Yelp and put in a job, put in the zip code, type of items that need to be removed, um, time frame that they want it done in, they, pictures if they got pictures, and then it, it'll go out to the Yelp, um, Yelp helpers, for lack of another term, the Yelp professionals. It'll go out to professionals like myself, and then we get to go and um, send messages to the customer, man, either telling them our prices, av availability, or ask them questions, ask them for pictures, uh, you know I mean, just converse with them. It's like $240 a month. So it's that like it's like $8 a day it boils down to. Um, not the cheapest, but see, that's one job. That's two jobs right there. I'm gonna pay for that. I find it to be worth it. Y'all may not. I don't know. Get in the comments. Let me know if y'all like it or if you don't like it. Um, is it a good idea? Is it not a good idea? Do you have better ideas? I am trying to learn, bruh. So y'all got something to teach, man. Get in these comments. Let me know. If it's easier to talk to me, let me know that too. Shit, maybe we can uh we can do a Zoom call or something. If I'm learning, everybody can learn from it. Cause if you want to talk to me, I do want to record it to put it out for everybody to learn from. So know that. Anyway, anyhow, I'm gonna get off this mug, man. I'm about to merge onto this e-way, and I ain't got nothing else going on, yo. Thank you. I holler.